All right, we are here with Daniela Iacobelli, current uh, leader in the clubhouse, seven under. You had four under today. Yep. Run us through your day. I mean, you shot three under yesterday, so obviously put two solid rounds together. Uh, just run us through today and uh, where your birdies were, anything that stuck out uh, specifically. I really can't remember what holes my birdies were on. I know I birdied um, 17 and 18 coming in, stuff one tight on 17. I think I just had one birdie on the front. Um, we weren't hitting too many greens in the beginning, but once we started hitting the greens, we just had a couple long putts fall. That was really good. Um, all week we've been telling ourselves play 18 as a par four, just a long par four. So you make four, you're one up on the field. You make three, you're two up on the field. But for us, it was just playing on par four. Um, hitting greens, we didn't really miss too many fairways. Lift, clean, and plays always helps. Nice, nice pretty lies coming in. Um, Caddy Tyler just said, keep going. Just Get, up, get birdie hungry. Had one bogey on 16. Don't know if the wind or is a miss club, but came up a little short and couldn't convert the up and down. But one bogey, two birdies to finish. It was pretty good. Awesome. Now, you mentioned your caddy, Tyler. I spoke with him a little earlier this week. He mentioned just kind of the whole overview of this whole year. It's either kind of been totally on or a little maybe off. So you missed a couple cuts here. But when you are on, I mean, you have a couple top finishes. What was coming into this this week and kind of having the approach of let's turn it on last event of the season let's put three rounds together i think we're the highest on the money list with the most missed cuts i don't know if that's a good stat but you know um we came into the last week it's kind of a home advantage we're only an hour away from home and we knew we have to win to get our money card and that's the goal i mean we're gonna go as low as we can tomorrow try and come out with a win and but we're enjoying it i mean it's a little spicy out today but it's good weather, good people, good crowds, good turnout, good right. course. You're 22nd on the money list, obviously totally within shot, coming out with a win. Big winner's check this week. Did you kind of just try to put that stuff to the side, or do you kind of always have that in your mind, used it as motivation, put a little pressure on yourself? Where does that kind of play into knowing it's the last chance you have to kind of get that win? I'd say on the course it never comes into play, but the heart-to-hearts we have at night by the pool at our host housing, it definitely comes into play. and. We've discussed the winnings. Uh, we're just going to go straight to Daytona and get a Caribbean cruise. So, you know, we have plans. Perfect. We just we just got to execute so we can get on that cruise. Awesome. I saw you giving out some hugs after your round. I think you said your mom's here uh, this week. How awesome is that to have that little extra support? When was the last time she got to see you play? Mom got to see me play in Harris. Okay. And I didn't play very well. So it was kind of a little bad juju. My sister was there. She's not very good luck. Um, we got my mom, we got our friend, we got Tyler's parents, uh, one of my friends from back home. So it's, it's really cool to have a support because people don't really get to see us on the course. They just see us off the course right. and everybody already has their, their idea of what we do off the course. So it's cool to see them, have them come out and see us serious on the course. Cool. All right. So after two solid rounds heading into tomorrow, what's going to be the key? Hold that lead. Oh, we're going to go to the pool or to the beach. A lot of food, hydration. <laughs> And sleep. We'll start over tomorrow. We'll see what happens. One shot at a time. Perfect. All right. Good luck. Thanks for joining us. Thanks.